Cuba's revolutionary transformation began on May 17, 1959, with the proclamation of the agrarian reform law. Las Manacas, the Castro family farm, was the first land holding to be confiscated. Fidel's mother, Lina, was furious and would never forgive her son. Two hundred thousand peasants received title to land they had once worked. On July 26th, the anniversary of Moncada, they descended on Havana to celebrate. When I first arrived in Havana from the countryside in 1941, everyone treated me with scorn. To see now how the rich, the middle classes, welcomed the peasants to Havana in 1959 and put them up in their own homes was beautiful. As if everyone realized that there had to be an end to injustice. As Castro surveyed the crowd of one million gathered on that day, he compared Cuba's new government to ancient Athens. Except better, because Cuba's revolutionary government was not for the privileged classes or the oligarchy. This, he said, is true democracy. <laughs> 